In this video, we're going to learn about the logical operators in Python. So the logical operators allow us to create what are called compound Boolean expressions, or sometimes compound conditions. So for example, let's say that we're deciding whether or not to log a user in. We would need to check both their username and their password. So for example, we could have user is equal to Bob and password is equal to ABC. And let's say that we only want to log the user in if their username is Bob and their password is ABC. We could do something like this. We could have if user is equal to Bob and then if password is equal to ABC, then output logged in. And this would work. We could save this and try it out and we'll get logged in. So here, in order to check two conditions, we've nested an if statement inside of another if statement. So first we check if the username is Bob, and if it is, then we check if the password is ABC, and if it is, then we output logged in. There is another way we could do this though. We could use the and operator. So we could have if user is equal to Bob and password is equal to ABC then we'll output logged in. And if we save this and run it, we'll get the same result. But this time here, we're using the AND logical operator. The AND logical operator basically allows us to combine two Boolean expressions. So the AND logical operator is going to produce true if this expression is true and this expression is true. Now there's several logical operators. There's AND, OR, and NOT. Let's go over how they work. So first, let's do the AND operator. So the AND operator is going to evaluate to true only if both of its operands evaluate to true. So true and true will give us true, but true and false will give us back false. Let's actually try out all the different combinations. So next we'll have false and true, and this will also evaluate to false. And then finally, we'll have false and false, which will also evaluate to false. So we'll have false and false. So if we save this and try our program out, we can see that the AND operator is only going to evaluate to true in the case that both of the operands evaluate to true. In all other cases, the AND operator is going to evaluate to false. So there's also the OR operator, and the OR operator is going to evaluate to false only in the case that both of the operands are false. In all of the cases, the OR operator is going to evaluate to true. So let's try out OR now. We'll have OR, 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 and OR. And then over here, we'll have OR, OR, and OR, and OR. And if we save this and run it, we see that the OR operator is only going to evaluate to false in the case that both of the operands evaluate to false. In all of the cases, the OR operator is going to evaluate to true. There's also an operator called the NOT operator, and the NOT operator is going to flip true to false and false to true. So for example, we could have NOT true, and NOT true will give us false. We could have NOT false, and NOT false will give us true. So if we save this and run our program, we get that not true is false and not false is true. So the not operator can be used to flip false to true and true to false. Another interesting thing about these operators is that they use lazy evaluation. What that means is that the second operand is only going to be evaluated if it's actually necessary. So for example, with the or operator here, if the first operand is true, it doesn't matter what the second operand is. Whether it's true or it's false, either way, the expression is going to evaluate to true. So the program doesn't actually need to evaluate the second operand, which could save the program from having to do some work. That's why we call it lazy evaluation, because it could save the program from having to do some work. Let's go over an example where this comes up. For the left operand, we'll have 4 divided by 0 is equal to 0, or and then for the right operand, we'll have true. So in this case here, we're trying to divide something by zero, which is not allowed. 
If we save this and run the program, we'll get an error here. It says zero division error. So we can't divide by zero. But if I were to flip the operands and have true or four divided by zero is equal to zero, and we save this and run it, we just get true. And what's happening here is lazy evaluation. So because the first operand is true, we already know the OR expression is going to result in true. So the right operand is never evaluated and we never get the error. So we should at least be aware of lazy evaluation because it can have effects like this. Now the operators do have an order of evaluation. What that means is that the not operator is going to happen first, followed by the AND operator, followed by the OR operator. So for example, if we have an expression like this, not false or true, we might think that this would evaluate to false because we might think that false or true would evaluate to true and then not true would evaluate to false. But because of the order of operations, the not operator is going to be applied first and not false is going to give us true and then true or true is going to give us true. So if we save this and run it, we do get true. So we should also be aware about the order of operations or what's called operator precedence. And this is how we can use the logical operators in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.